Hello YouTube and welcome back to Simple Essentials. My name is Emmy and today I wanted to talk about a simplicity or minimalist question that tends to come up a lot, which is, will I regret getting rid of any items that I declutter or, you know, just that I get out of my life? And I wanted to cover this question, especially now because we're in the midst, as I film this, we're in the midst of COVID-19, Melbourne, Australia, where I live, we're in more or less lockdown. We're allowed to go out to go to the doctor for basic exercise and to go grocery shopping, but we're not socializing with friends and family. And this Easter, as I film this, has been a very quiet one for us, as I'm sure it's been for a lot of people around the world. And it's a strange time, and by no means am I trying to make you know, a lighthearted video and not appreciate that a lot of people out there are struggling financially and emotionally. And I totally understand that that's the case for many people and I fully respect that. At the same time, I'm looking to make video content and continue to make video content to help you focus on the things that are within your control and influence and hopefully inspire a few people out there to structure their space and their time and their healthy eating and anything else in a way that will work better for you with the current circumstances. So uh, with all that said, I wanted to answer this question that I've been getting over the years of decluttering, which is, will I regret getting rid of things in my life? And I have been asking myself this question for a while and I was wrecking my brain to think of a single item that I've gotten rid of that I regret. And I guess to take a few steps back, my partner and I, Paul, we've been together for almost two years and we have both been decluttering even before we met, but we've also continued to do so uh, in our relationship together and living together. And as I filmed this, we're living in Melbourne, Australia, near the city centre in a small two bedroom apartment. I have no idea of the square footage or the square metres, but it is fairly small. And the kitchen and um, living room is sort of an open plan off, like open plan area. And on a more personal note, I guess, in the midst of all the COVID-19 madness, I actually was able to secure a full-time marketing role, which I have been looking for for quite a while. And I am thrilled to have joined a great company who during this strange time was able to onboard me fully remotely for a role that will eventually be based in an office in the city in Melbourne. And um, I guess I wanted to share that from the perspective that, you know, even though this is a really difficult time and a lot of people have lost their jobs and a lot of things are going in what looks like, you know, the wrong direction, the economy is really struggling. There are still silver lining things that are happening and I wanted to share my new job because I was looking for this type of role for a few months and I am thrilled to have joined this company now. So a little bit of hope for you guys out there who are looking for work. There are still companies that are hiring. You just probably need to be a little bit more flexible in your approach than you've been in the past. Back to the topic. The reason I'm mentioning my new job is that we are now two people working from home, which we didn't do before, in a very small apartment. We've got two pets. We've got a cat and a bunny. And, um, you know, two pets, two people, only two bedrooms. Um, it's been a bit of a struggle to make this small space work for us. So it's not so much that I regret anything that I've gotten rid of. It's probably more that we don't have enough kind of workstation areas um, or desks or tables in our apartment at the moment. I will link my decluttering video. I haven't done a full apartment tour yet, but in that video, and I'll link it up here somewhere, you can see a little bit of a brief overview of what our apartment looks like. And also some decluttering tips if you're looking for that. So what we've found going through this sort of time period is um, we've had to be really creative and improvise. And the first thing has been to create two workstations. So one of us works at a kind of makeshift stand-up desk on the kitchen island in the kitchen, and the other person works in the um, dedicated office that we have, which I'm sitting in at the moment as I film this. And that's been the first thing to kind of create a little bit of structure and use the things that we have. Because even if I think back six months ago, there are no physical furniture or items that we had that we've gotten rid of that would have helped us during this time. So we're just making do with what we have, which I think is a beautiful simplicity trait anyway, which is to be creative and innovate and just make the most of what you have. You know, necessity is the mother of all invention, they say. So that's what we've been trying to focus on. 
The second thing is that we have made extra sure during this time that everything has a home. So at the end of the day, whoever was working out in the kitchen on the kitchen island um, puts all the stuff and extra screens and keyboards and stuff away in the study so that we have a nice, clean, calm area that we can hang out in for the rest of the evening and make sure that we're relaxing and feeling good with our mental health and that sort of stuff. And then finally, because I couldn't think of a single thing that I've decluttered and gotten rid of that I have missed, I had to ask my partner and say, hey, Paul, is there anything that you miss, especially during this time when we've been you know, in lockdown, we've spent 99% of our time in the apartment. How do you feel you know, about all this? And he sort of said that the only thing he could think of in the last kind of few months that he's decluttered was a couple of warm sweaters because we're going towards winter now and it's been a bit cold in the evening. So he was missing that. But you know, thank goodness for online orders and delivery, uh, even in times like this. My personal view is if you take on the simplicity lifestyle and minimalist, you can call it that if you like, I don't really mind what name you choose to call it. But you can take on my decluttering challenge if you want to. Again, I'll link that um, below this video. And in that decluttering challenge, you'll find a way of thinking or a way of tackling different areas that, um, you know, in a structured order. And if you follow that method, to be honest, you're not really gonna regret getting rid of stuff. I think for 90% of people having less clutter, more space and, you know, creating a cozy space that you really enjoy and can relax in, especially during this time when we're home so much more than we're used to. I think that's actually a lot more important than asking yourself what you're gonna miss. Now, as a little side tip, if you are starting to declutter and getting rid of stuff now, obviously a lot of charity shops are closed. You can't actually take donations anywhere and online sales of things have obviously become a lot more difficult unless you are posting things out to people. So to declutter your home right now, you may just need to have that dedicated space to put things into kind of a holding bay before things open up again and you're able to sell, donate, give to family and friends or whatever you wanna do. So I hope you're staying safe and well during this difficult time. Holding on to things is not necessarily what's gonna get us through this. I think what's gonna get us through this difficult time is connection with people, connection with ourselves, and making sure that the space that we have works for us. And for most people, a space works a lot better for us when we have fewer things in it and helps kind of calm the mind and get rid of clutter and noise and stress. So stay well. In my next video, I'm going to do a bit of a decluttering check-in. So feel free to keep your eyes peeled for that one. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below and the like button if you like this video. See you in the next one.